man, don't install bearings like that. I'm gonna put a link in the description below how to properly install them. What happens whenever you install bearings this way? Let me explain. For instance, on this grasshopper spindle right here, we have a radial ball bearing. I'm gonna pop this seal out so that you can see. The actual bearings in there. Now, if you go to install these and you hit on the inner race here, the only thing keeping this race from damaging these balls is nothing. If you hammer on that, you are going to put a flat spot on each of those balls. And it's not going to last because now you have a war spot already in your ball bearings. It's going to, it might last, you know, a few hours or may even last forever. But don't install your bearings by hitting the inner race. You're going to damage the balls and then it's just going to start howling and then it's going to overheat. All the grease is going to drop out and then you're right back to square one. Always install your bearings by tapping on the outer race. Best thing to do is press them in. You can heat this aluminum housing up and they'll drop right in. But anyway, hey, I've watched a ton of videos about bearing installs and 80% of the videos I've watched are incorrect. Y'all have a good day. Mormonic one.